Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero. Last time we started up Chapter 3, so we got some more uh, support quests here. Oh, okay. This is the one that we have to do to actually move on with the story, so of course we want to do it last. And I'm also going to be doing Illegal Parking Crackdown today. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. We're actually going to do, you know, some police work. It's kind of boring police work, but it is what it is. Hopefully, I'll get around to doing this one as well. Uh, we just kind of have to go around and take photographs of my scenic views. Kind of reminds me of something from Earthbound, actually. Oh, an important lost item. Well, this one's over in Belgard Gate, so I'll save that one for later. And then we have um, a fight down at the Geo Front. Yeah, we'll do that one later as well. But we have to go ahead and uh, check all these things. Speaking of checking quests, we did turn in one, uh, or, you know, whenever the chapter ended, we turned in any other kind of um, outstanding quests, and we received a machine power quartz for doing so, and basically, that's a pretty decent quartz, and it makes you regain EP as you walk on the field. So, yeah, if you want to use that, you know, you can go ahead and equip it. It's an earth-based quartz, and earth-based quartz kind of suck, but hey, whatever. Also, we have a new chapter start, so of course we get new weapons. So, yeah, go ahead and uh, buy everything there. Equipped it all. So, there we are. Uh, of course, as usual, I'm going to be ignoring armor um, because it's kind of useless. You do, though, want to talk to this girl right here. Uh, sure, I like popcorn. Okay. Well, thanks. Hey, and for talking to her, we learned the light popcorn recipe. Nice! So let's move on to uh, Gentem. Might as well, we're here. It'd be nice if we got some new quartz because we're in a new chapter, but unfortunately, we don't. We don't get level 3 quartz. We still are stuck with level 2 quartz. But I haven't bought quartz in quite some time, so I want to go ahead and make sure that I have 4 attack 2 quartzes as well as four action two quartzes. Uh, that way everybody is able to get their speed up and get their attack power up. Those are the two most important stats. So, yeah, we're in chapter three. Hey, we're getting, um, you know, the enemies are getting harder, and I just want to make sure that I've everybody upgraded as much as I can, or at least, you know, to decent levels. I mean, not as much as I can, otherwise I'd be buying armor, but who really cares? Uh, let's see, for Tio, I'm gonna take off this EP2 for right now and give her the attack 2. It only raises her strength by like one point, but eh, at least it gives her access to fire elemental attacks, so that's something. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. Okay, with all that being said and done, let's head on out here. There's a couple more little things that I want to do. Actually, there's only one more little thing that I want to do. And let's head on into the department store, because, again, new chapter, we get a new issue of Crossbell Times. So let's go ahead and uh, purchase that real quick. Let's see what you have. Uh, right here. Also, if you want to, you can go on West Street, and you can go to Tally's shop, and she has um, the back alley Dr. Glenn available for purchase, like number five, I believe. So if you somehow missed that one, that would be a good chance now to um, run on over there and purchase it. I believe this is pretty much like the last time you can actually buy those Black Alley Dr. Glenn um, books. For the most part, those are going to be extraordinarily missable from now on. But that's everything that I wanted to do as far as um, just little errands running around. So let's go ahead and start on this illegal parking quest. Oh, yeah. She reminds me so much of Leo from Lunar 2. It must be the hair. Are you the persons? <laughs> She's only one person, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So Ellie was saying, are, like, are the people who are in charge of it here? Can you call them? She wasn't saying, oh, are you in charge of it? Yeah, but it's just Ingrishy, what can I say? Okay, we'll do. Oh, yeah. You know, Oprah does say the rudest thing you can do to someone is to make them wait. They, uh, do seem to be pretty damn rude, I've gotta say. Oh, hey, there you guys are. Joe Ridge. Okay. Officer Kane. 
Have we met Officer Kate? Or am I thinking of something? I think I'm thinking of something from Wild Arms 2, actually. Oh. Oh, really? It's a pleasure. So you're actually going to be nice to us? Oh, well, great. Thanks. Uh, no problem. You know, we only foiled an assassination attempt. Nothing much. You know, everyday stuff. Yeah, what exactly do you want us to do? Just, uh, go around and tow cars or something? Um, we're not lazy. What are you talking about? You want us to do this request, but you're like, I don't care if you're lazy, like, don't do it? Seriously? <laughs> That's, uh, kind of odd. Oh, okay, so control the illegally parked cars on the outskirts of town. Oh, yeah, so, uh, I guess they're jobbing off their work to us. Okay, so we have to look at every car's license plate number, and then if they're illegally parked, affix a warning sticker. Oh, so we don't actually have to remove the cars, we just have to give them a fine? Um, I guess. You know, every time that I park illegally, I get towed. I wish they were nice to me. But then again, I haven't been towed since I moved to Vegas. There's a lot of parking spots here, it's fine. I got towed all the time in Atlanta, though. That was ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Okay, so not all the cars there are illegally parked. So I guess before you park there, you have to obtain some sort of license and like rent out a spot or something, and some people didn't, I guess? Yeah, sounds uh, pretty simple. Okay, so we only have to patrol the east and the western exits? Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. Oh, okay, well, it seems simple enough. <laughs> Kate and I are just gonna be lazy. We'll be skipping all over the place. Sure, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't seem too hard, although I must say, this actually is kind of hard. Because you do get bonus DP for this quest. And to get the bonus DP, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Lucky us, but I'm gonna try my damnedest to actually get through this with all DP intact. Okay, so first things first, what you want to do is head on out here, check the back, and uh, there's our license plate number, or the uh, registration plate number. What am I doing? Um, let's see. So we also got the... Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba the... where is it? The parking license list. So, yeah, this is... um. License fee, 500 mirror, doesn't really matter, blah, blah, blah. This is really what matters. If you're playing this without my assistance, you're gonna write, you're gonna wanna write down every single one of these um, licenses, because these are the approved licenses. If they have these numbers, you do not want to ticket uh, that particular car. However, this car right here, I'll just tell you, is not on that list. So go around to the front of it, and yes, we do indeed want to affix a warning sticker. And let's go ahead and check this one. That one is on the list, so we can completely ignore it. Okay, this one is also on the list. Seal 1101. Keep that in mind for later. And this one is also on the list. So now that we've gone ahead and we've examined those four cars in the western gate, we now want to head on over to the eastern street. And uh, go ahead and check those cars too. Yeah, I'm going to show everything on screen just so we're all aware of exactly what to do to get all the extra DP here. Okay, that one's on the list, so it's good. That one's also on the list, so it's good. What about this one? Also on the list. This one, however, is not on the list. So let's go ahead and go to the front and affix a warning sticker. There we are. Let's check out this one. Oh, it's CL1101. 
Huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we need to go ahead and, you know, check one more time. Yeah. If you have affixed a sticker to a wrong card, you can't remove it. So, you know, you, you get it's, it's, it's one and you're done. So, it's kind of a mess, but yeah, it is what it is. Go ahead and check this car again for an additional scene. Yeah, he feels like he's seen it somewhere before. Hmm, I wonder where. Yeah, someone's kind of committing some fraud here, it seems. So, let's head on over to West Street and just double check that it was indeed CL1101 that we saw earlier. It looks like somebody's kind of stealing somebody else's license number here. And I believe that we saw that one um, ba -ba -da -ba -da, on the pink car. No, was it the pink car? No, maybe it was this purple car. Which one was it? No, it wasn't this one. Hmm. Uh, was it this one? No! Maybe it was this van. I know it was one of these. There it is! Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, it totally was. Oh, no, it wasn't a truck. No, they shouldn't exist. Hmm. Yeah, totally. Okay, will do. So now that we've gone ahead and checked both cars and got that little scene right there, now let's head on back to the government district and turn in our quest. So with this we should be able to get all four bonus DP. If you've only done like half of it, you just got like the one little special scene, you didn't go back and double check the other car, you'd only get two bonus DP. Oh, it's going good. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Oh. Yeah, and if you fix stickers to the wrong cars, then you kind of fail the quest and you don't get your DP, so. Be very cognizant of which cars you are actually affixing stickers to and getting all the scenes that you need in this particular quest. It can be pretty complex. Yeah, no mistake at all. It wasn't half-heartedly. It was quickly, but not half-heartedly. <laughs> yeah, they still don't really like us all that well. Oh, yeah, let's uh, talk about that. Yeah, can you guys, like, do something about that? Maybe tow them? Oh, yeah, it seems that way. And I guess they didn't pay their fee. That's how they're spelling daily? Seriously? Come on now! I mean, daily, it's such a basic word. You, 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 who spells daily like that? What the hell, game? Like, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever get over that. Okay. Yeah. And with that, we've completed our quest. While we're here, though, if you talk to her and you show her the combat notebook, I know that I've mentioned this before, but I've never actually shown it on screen. Um, you know, the more monsters that you fight, the more rewards that you get. So if you show her the combat notebook after fighting various monsters, you're going to get some um, rewards. It's just a really quick little thing that you can do. 2,000 Mira and some new materials. Nice! Okay, will do. And I'm done here. So what I want to do now is head on back to the support section just to double check that I did indeed get all my bonus DP. 
I just, like, I'm really, um, like, freaking out about all of this. Shut up, Fran. Hey, I got it! Yeah, got all four bonus DP. Nice! Okay, just wanted to make double, triple, quadruple check sure. So the next thing that I want to do is head on over towards the waterfront area because um, we need to head on over into the, um, what is it, the Crossbell Times reporting place? Or the Crossbell News Service, whatever it is. And uh, there's a request here about taking some photographs. And we have plenty of time to get that one started as well. Yeah, so uh, can you tell us what you want done? Oh, well, who's in charge of the uh, request? Yeah, uh, we are here after all. Of course it's a good time. Okay. That's kind of nice. We haven't been able to go up to the second floor yet, so that's different. Oh, just looks like a bunch of cubicles and stuff. Oh, hey, it's Grace. I guess she's in charge of the uh, request. Hey there, how you doing? Oh, uh, no problem. All in a day's work. You know, glad we could be of service. Yeah, we just kind of did our jobs and you were there even though you shouldn't have been there. And you probably also should have been arrested for sneaking in and not buying a ticket. But, you know, the Crossbell Police Department doesn't arrest anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why can't you write about the Empire Faction? And why would you criticize the mayor? The mayor was a surviving an assassination attempt. Wow, why would you criticize him? What's your problem? Ugh! Well, that doesn't stop you from writing bad things about us all the time. Yeah, what exactly do you want us to do? Can you, like, get to the point sometime today? That'd be lovely. Oh, okay. Extra issue as a tourist guide. But hey. Yeah, it's amazing. It's great. We're all very happy for you. Like, hurry the hell up. Let's go. Okay, so let's go around and take some photographs. Why can't you take some photographs? Ugh! This is your job! Why do we have to do your job for you? Well, we get paid a lot for this. Why don't you take a bus or something and just, like, take the pictures out the window of the bus? You'll be fine. Uh, that is true. Oh, I guess Lines is the, um real photographer for the, uh, the news agency, and he just can't come? Oh. Okay. So we get a nice little list of the places that she wants us to go to, so that's kind of nice. Oh. Oh, okay, good. So I guess Ellie is going to be our photographer extraordinaire. How hard is it? You, you know, you aim at what you want to take the photograph of, and you click the button. This isn't rocket science here. <laughs> They're acting like she's doing, like, particle physics or something. Like, it's so hard to take a photograph. Come on. Yeah, 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 we'll do it. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. So, can we get that list of places that you want us to photograph as well? Oh, well, what's that? Okay... Oh, okay, so you just don't want us to take pictures of, um, other countries. Just leave it in Crossbell, so don't take any pictures of where you may see, um, another country. Yeah. They might think that maybe we're spying on them or something. Oh. Yeah, 
Anything else that we need to be uh, aware of? We need a minimum of five photographs. We'll be doing a lot more for bonus DP, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we can't actually take them all today either. So you're going to have to, like, continually have this quest all throughout Chapter 3 in order to get every single photograph that you possibly can. And I, of course, will be telling you where to go to get all those photographs. Okay, will do. Oh, no problem. So, uh, can we get that memo of where you want us to take the photographs? Oh, no. Looks like we don't get the list of where to take the photographs. That's just great. Yeah. It's not that bothersome. You just get to go sightseeing. It is kind of long, but it's not bothersome. I would like to be a photographer. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Be like a photographer for like National Geographic or something like that. Hey, I'd be all about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, as, as we're kind of traveling along, we might as well take photographs if we see anything nice. Yeah. You'll be fine. Again, this isn't rocket science. Okay, uh, hey, and with that, we started up our quest, and I'm going to start showing off all of the uh, photography points next time. Let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for the end slate. We're going to be reading the Crossbell Times. Have a good day.